Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Craft In. Priscilla here with a special share for you guys today. Um, it's just come to my attention recently that I have hit over 300 subscribers here on YouTube and also on Instagram. So to celebrate, we're going to have a uh, the first ever Release the Craft In file folder challenge and giveaway. So, um, hooray, exciting. It's really cool. And I just want to thank you guys, you know, for subscribing and watching my videos and commenting and just, you know, all the support and stuff that I get from the YouTube and Instagram community has been really wonderful. So I thought it would be really fun. Uh, we were talking on the live video where I made this little, uh, file folder booklet for a journal that I'm working on. Um, about how fun it would be to have a file folder challenge. So that's what we're doing today. So um, on my Instagram live, I was inspired by um, some trifold tags that Tracy Fox had made. And I had um, decided to see if I could come together and make my little um, field notes book. Because that's really what I saw was that she had made like a field notes guide. So I would wanted to make one for the book that I was working on because it's kind of got a botanical nature type theme. So, um, I just grabbed a regular standard size file folder and, um, like quickly sketched out what I wanted to do on it, chopped it up, and then got on the Instagram Live where we ended up making this together. And, um, for the most part, we finished almost everything on the Live. It was, like, two hours. So, um, you know, it took me a little bit. But then after I got offline, I did a couple extra things to it. So at the end of the video, I'll do the full flip through for those of you who are on the live who want to see what the final result was and those of you who weren't who want to see what we made in the first place. So I'm going to do that at the end. But let's talk about this challenge, you guys. So this is going to be um, the official Release the Craft and File Folder Challenge. Um, to enter the challenge... You need to make something out of a standard size file folder, and the goal is to use as much of the folder as possible. I only threw away um, this little piece here and this little piece here, plus a little tiny piece that I used to make a pocket. So I threw that away, but everything else, the majority of this, all ended up in this little book. So the goal is to not throw anything away, um, but the... Uh, parameters are completely open. So what you want to make out of a file folder is entirely up to you. Um, I definitely recommend looking up some tutorials. I know that um, Serene Bookworks, Kim, she has some cool stuff that she's made. So I'll link her channel down below. You guys can check her out. Um, you can get some inspiration from me. Definitely check it out. Figure out what you want to do. Um, come up with something. There's going to be like 30-ish days to complete the challenge. So you'll have plenty of time. Um, and then... Uh, I don't know, I think it'll be fun. I think um, it'll be really interesting to see how creative everybody gets with their file folders. So um, this is a standard size file folder. I got a bunch of these in a pack at um, the Dollar Tree. So they're pretty easily accessible and I don't think it's going to be too crazy to get. Um, but if you don't have a standard size file folder, try to find something similar. You know, in your stashes maybe. If you don't want to go out and buy anything, for sure. Um, but for the most part, it should just be a file folder. Um, which I think a lot of us have access to. If you don't have access, let me know, and we'll come up with some substitution for you. Um, to enter the challenge, you have to be subscribed. You need to like and comment on this video that you're entering the challenge um, so that I can get your name down, and um, this way I can check you off when you finally complete the project so that I know you did both steps. Um, you also need to tag me at Release the Crafting, and I'll put um, all this information in the description box below, so don't worry if you don't catch it. I'm also going to pop it up on screen here too, just in case, but it'll all be down in the box below. So tag me at Release the Crafting, and then use uh, the hashtags RTCFFChallenge and uh, hashtag release the FF challenge. You can use either one of those, both of those, doesn't matter. I'll be following both um, so I can catch on to whatever you guys are making. Um, if you don't have Instagram and uh, you don't know how to tag people or anything, just get with me here on YouTube, you know, follow up on your comment and I will, um, I'll follow up to whatever links you send and make sure that I get you entered in because I don't want people to be excluded because they don't have Instagram. So, um, just, you know, stay in touch with me down below and I will make sure that you get entered into the challenge. I will be um, doing a giveaway for the people who enter the challenge and I'll announce uh, the prizes in maybe like a week so that uh, everybody kind of gets a feel for what's going on out there. And then um, the entry date will uh, end, will close, entries will close by December 5th and I'll choose a winner on December 7th. And then... Um, 
there might be more than one winner. Uh, it just depends on what kind of stuff I get together for the fabulous prizes. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. You know, you guys can make journals, you can make booklets, you can make flip books, you can make whatever you want. The possibilities are absolutely limitless, and I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Just use a file folder. And, um, I think maybe the next week or two I'll get on here and make a couple more things out of file folders just to help if you're stuck for, like, inspiration or you just need a couple more ideas. Plus, I just like to mess around with stuff like this and see what I come up with. So, um, I'll make a couple more things so that you guys can kind of get some ideas of what to do. Um, but that's pretty much it. So this is what I made on my Instagram Live. It's just a little, um, freestanding booklet that's going to go in the journal that I made. And so what I did was I, um, scored my file folder, like, straight across here at 8 inches. And then I just trimmed off the edges and use this bottom part to make all the flips and tucks and stuff like that. So, um, for the covers and stuff, I just chose some, uh, regular book page, newspaper page, like, tissue paper. And, like, decoupage that onto the back. I inked it all up with bundled sage distress ink. And then I just did some collaging with some craft paper. I used some gold tissue paper on the inside. I have some of these layers from Tim Holtz. I did some stamping and some stenciling with um, forest moss distress oxide through a Prima stencil. And then I have some of these like washi paper um, stickers that are like also botanical themed. So I added those in. And then um, I added a little bit of this gold leaf trim to the front. Some of these little gemstones I got from April. This is a Prima melange pebble. Um, so I added that to the front, and this flower that I inked up and then added some gold wax to. And then I just added a little bit of twine back here to give it some texture. And then um, for the little tab here, I stamped out field notes and added a little uh, jar charm. Thank you, Shayna, for the idea to add a little charm to this. And I used um, some lavender that I got from April and some jasmine I had um, in my stash. And then I throw my book. And then um, at the center of the little signature in here, I added some gemstone beads in matching colors. And it all closes, like holds together with this little uh, bulldog clip. And I have this little solid brass bead charm that I added a little rhinestone to. And then um, when you crack it open, it opens up to this little booklet. And then there is a pocket where I added... Um, another one of those stickers, and then some Tim Holtz clipping stickers. Um, the book is, like, witchy themed, so I thought this was really funny. A few rules for spelling, like spells, and added in some of the rules in here. And then um, this little part is actually a booklet, but when you flip it open, it's got um, a little journaling spot with a bullpen charm and another one of those brass leaf charms and a little bit of ribbon that I just stuck in um, through some eyelets just to add some interest. And then another one of the rules for spelling. And then this flips open, and there is a little pocket here. And um, then I did another little collage with another image I got from Pinterest. And then here's a belly band. So all I need to do is make some tags for the book that I'm working on, and I'll tuck those in here. And then um, this will be totally done. But as you can see, like, this was the rest of the file folder. So I folded it over, cut this little piece off, and made this pocket. And then I have this little flip-up book. And then um, Janine had suggested I make a little closure for something. So this is the closure I came up with, Janine, using some ribbon I got from Shayna. So thank you, Shayna. And then I did the same thing. Um, I used some of this botanical paper that I got from Hobby Lobby on the inside covers here. And um, just used some coffee dyed paper to make a little booklet, and all the pages have this little fold out for extra writing space, because, like, I didn't want to cut this. It's just really pretty coffee dyed paper. And then this is a scan from an Edith Holden book page that uh, April just sent me in some recent happy mail, so thanks, April. And I stenciled the back of that. Use one of these green um, index cards that Shana sent me. And this is some Tim Holtz uh, vellum. Like I said, they all fold out. And there's another Edith Holden sheet. And a little bit of poetry paper that uh, April sent. And then this little, like, memo notepad. And then see, here's the center of that little signature. So the little dangly bits come out there. And then some more writing space. And then these are going to be little pockets on the other side of that Edith Holden paper. So I did some stamping here. And then I'll make, when I make the tags, I'll fill this up too. 
Do the shout it out. Vellum. So real simple little booklet in here because it's not the main book, but I just wanted to have like a fun little takeaway writing spot. And then the whole thing just closes right back up. And that's what I made using a file folder so you guys can see there's a lot of versatility here and it can be any theme, any style you want. Um, I know Christmas is coming up so probably a lot of people are going to do Christmas theme. And that's totally cool. I just want to see what everybody makes. And, you know, see if you guys can get a little innovative and creative with what you do with your file folders. I'll just tuck this right back up real neatly. So, that's going to be all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for your support. Once again, I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for subscribing and all that stuff. Um, uh, don't forget to check the description box for all the information that I listed. I'll put the full contest rules down there, too, so you won't have to remember everything I said or write it all down. It will be there, ready for you. Um, and until next time, you guys, happy crafting. Bye!